Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. And I must tell you that today we have a lot of important news that you should definitely know. Google has launched something called as Gemini, which is a next generation AI generator model. Now this isn't like ChatGPT. This is a multi-dimensional generative model which can take input in the form of text, image and video audio as well. So this is super cool and this can make any other device out there like a Jarvis, you know, from Iron Man. So this is something completely brand new and you should definitely check out this video to see what it exactly is capable of. It comes in three variants, Gemini Ultra, Pro and Nano. Nano is the completely distilled version where it can be used on mobile phones. Pro version is the light of Gemini Ultra version, which can be probably used on PCs. And the Gemini Ultra can be used on complicated problems. Overall, this is a huge step in terms of AI and this is something you should definitely look into. Bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. Realme is going to launch a brand new phone called the Realme C67 5G phone on December 14. Now this phone might be coming up with a Dimensity 6100 plus processor, which is a 5G processor and expected price is around 10,000 rupees. Redmi has also recently launched Redmi 13C 5G, which also comes with the same processor. So you can expect similar pricing. We have seen power banks for a very long time. But now, Urban, well, I know it doesn't spell like Urban, but I'll call it Urban anyway. Anyway, Urban has launched two new power banks, which are just pocket size. They come in two capacities. One is a smaller 10,000 milliamp hours, and the other one is a 20,000 milliamp hours. And the price is also pretty competitive. You can get the 10,000 milliamp hour variant for 1,500 rupees and the 20,000 milliamp hours power bank for just 2,500 rupees. We also have a pocket size power bank from Xiaomi, but it comes in only the 10,000 milliamp hour variant. It's definitely a pretty cool gadget. You should definitely check it out. Xiaomi is going to launch the Redmi 13 series in India in January. Now, these phones, I mean the Redmi 13 and the 13 Pro, have already been launched in China in September, but we'll be getting all the 13 series phones, that's the Redmi Note 13, 13 Pro, and probably the 13 Pro Plus in January. So if you're planning to buy a phone around 15,000 rupees or 25,000 rupees, it's better to wait for these phones as well. Meta has launched something called the Meta AI Chat, which is like ChatGPT in US on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Facebook Messenger. Now, once again, this is just like ChatGPT, but it's from Facebook or Meta. Okay, first we can get features like text to image generation. Like when you're chatting with someone, you can ask AI to create an image, let's say a hippo eating spaghetti. So the AI can immediately generate that image. Next, you can also talk to the AI to look for videos or reels on Instagram. And in the same way, you can use this Meta AI to create greeting messages or just draft a post on Facebook. It's like you're getting a personal AI to handle your social media life. Realme has finally launched a proper flagship with the name of Realme GT5. The last time it did was the Realme GT2. Anyway, this version looks very similar to the OnePlus 12. Like honestly, it does have quite a few things that are pretty similar to the OnePlus 12. So for starters, it comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, same. It has a 5400 milliampere battery, same. It also has pretty similar cameras, pretty similar display as well. It also comes with 100 watts wired charging, 50 watts wireless charging, similar cameras with minor differences. So anyway, it looks pretty similar to OnePlus 12. The major change would be the gestures. So this time Realme is bringing fancy gestures to the Realme GT5 where you know you can just do stuff like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like you can do different gestures in front of your phone to perform smaller actions if you're interested. Government of India has announced a major update regarding new SIM cards. From January 1st, 2024, everything's gonna be digital. Like if you wanna apply for a new SIM, you don't need to submit any physical proofs. You don't need to submit a passport size photo either. Everything is going to be digital. So this is definitely a pretty good initiative from the government to protect your privacy. And you know, 
when you share your details with the SIM card owners, you don't know where your information will go. So this is definitely a pretty good option. WhatsApp is going to launch a brand new feature, which sounds pretty crazy. Okay, to begin with, we'll start with video calls. You can do video calls on WhatsApp. We can do the same on apps like Google Meets, Zoom calls. Now WhatsApp is going to bring screen sharing feature. I don't know how it's going to be useful on a phone, but it might be useful on a PC. Anyway, here's the thing. Now on WhatsApp, you can share your screen along with audio on a video call. So you're already on a video call and then you can share your screen along with the audio. And they did mention that you can share your music as well. So here's a quick use case. You're listening to a nice music and you want to share it with your friends. You can make a video call, share your screen and share the music with them as well. I know it sounds pretty complicated, but right now there's no preview. It's going to be in the future updates for the beta users. So it's going to take quite some time for the regular people to get. And we'll know what exactly it is when we actually get it. So guys, that's all the news I have for today. But you should definitely check out the Google's Gemini feature, which is bringing tons of features for Google Bard and the latest Google Pixel phones. Do check it out. With that said, see you next time.